children now come to the second page of the book we will study about the air most important natural resource you know about the air i think last year you studied about the different layers of atmosphere yes it is given at the top can you recall so the five different layers of the atmosphere are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere ionosphere and exosphere these five layers are present one above the other so what is the different layers means it is a air air is one of the important constituent of the atmosphere it is a mixture of how it is made it is a mixture of oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen and some rare gases along with that air also contains some water vapor and the dust particles so how all these constituents of air are distributed in the complete atmosphere just now you told me that there are five layers of the atmosphere so in that different layers of the atmosphere air is present so troposphere is the first layer just after the earth you know that air is present in the atmosphere what it is it is the envelope of air around the earth so first layer above the earth it is the troposphere this troposphere contains about 80% of the total gases in the air it contains more amount of air then after the troposphere next layer is the stratosphere it is 19% it contains 19% of the air after that the next layer is a mesosphere see here the proportion or we can say that the amount of gases goes on decreasing in the troposphere it was 80% in the stratosphere it is 19% in the mesosphere and next is the ionosphere the proportion goes on decreasing means it is present in a very less less amount see here 80 plus 19 means 99 only 1% is present in the mesosphere and the ionosphere and the last upper layer it is the exosphere so in the exosphere or beyond that no air is present no these gases are present are you clear so in this way the air is distributed in the different layers of the atmosphere now come to the uh, that picture which is 1.3 see here as we said that as we said that air is present means it contains the different gases nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide what are the various proportion of different gases in the air when you observe the picture you are observing that nitrogen here it is 78% it is the most abundant element in the air 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen then carbon dioxide very less amount 0.03% while rare gases or we can say that inert gases their percentage is very less left over is the what aragon is given here 0.9% and other constituents of air they are 0.7% so in this way various gases are present in the air as you go higher and higher upper and upper to the higher altitude we find that the amount of gases goes on decreasing these gases goes on decreasing that's why when if you had visited the hill station you may have observed there the less percentage of uh, gases or oxygen specially and that's why it is said that the heart patient or some who have the respiratory problem should not come to the higher altitude do you know it 
so along with that air the atmosphere contains the dust particles and the water vapor in a very little amount but it is present there its proportion may go on changing due to the change in the climatic conditions okay so now why these gases are present what is the use of these different gases